intellectual. Uh, allow me to just briefly mention uh, where we are coming from as an institution. And uh, the best way to do that is to tell you about our mandate, where we start and where we, we stop. So ESCC does uh, both combating and preventing corruption. Uh, and it does that through law enforcement, education, training, public awareness. But what is relevant for this gathering, this uh, meeting, is the part of our mandate where we are supposed to promote ethics as guided by the Constitution. If you go to Article 80, Article 79, it tells you what ESCC is supposed to do. ESCC is supposed to enforce Chapter 6 and ensure compliance with Chapter 6 of the Constitution. So that is where we, we are coming from. Uh, the next thing I've told you the what, the next thing is the how. And uh, because I said we both combat and prevent, there's debate about what should come first, whether you should prevent first, because we know prevention is better than cure. One of the ways in which we're trying to enforce Chapter 6 by preventing corruption is the list that you've uh, mentioned. ESCC has the mandate and capacity to investigate the integrity stat status of people who are putting themselves forward for public office. Uh, we're all aware about what we expect for public office, and ESCC having the capacity to investigate uh, is the fact finder. And as a fact finder, we advise IABC. I'm very happy to be here with uh, the chair, the commissioner, CEO, and the secretariat. Uh, and uh, we, when, when you find us in another forum, we'll be insisting on how independent we are. Uh, ESCC says it's independent, and IABC by its own name is also independent. So we may not direct IABC to do anything. That, that, that is not the right thing to do. But we do give an advisory. And when IABC shared a list of uh, over 21,000 candidates, we were able to get back to them with a list of 241 uh, candidates who had integrity uh, issues. Now, I may have a different opinion about what should have happened with that list. And my learned senior uh, chair is here. Uh, we may have hoped that all 241 would be bad. But again, we are institutions which are established within the law. We respect the rule of law. And IBC did what it could. And I think they barred two candidates. Uh, and one of those candidates has been dragging us through uh, the courts and the IBC dispute resolution uh, committee. And the SEC has come in and joined those proceedings to defend that position that what IABC did to decline that registration was the right thing. So for me, that is the most important thing. If we can lock out some of these people at the very beginning, that helps. In terms of the process itself, uh, the election, uh, a number of things uh, have been happening even in previous elections. Uh, ESCC does conduct election uh, monitoring. We have teams which are spread across the country. You might find a team which has been given a region, four, five, six, even six counties. And uh, we do go around uh, various polling stations and we look out for offenses that would fall within our mandate, especially voter bribery. Uh, I don't have any cases yet uh, that we have encountered, but that's part of the work uh, that we do. And finally, uh, it, uh, in a previous life, I was uh, in charge of corporate affairs and public communication at EACC. And in fact, we hosted uh, the Kenya Editors Guild. We, 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 we threw a banquet for Churchill and, uh, and team. Uh, and the purpose of that is strengthening the relationship between law enforcement agencies such as ourselves and the media. We've had an uneasy relationship where it's like we mistrust uh, each other. And I think those channels of communication have been open. That is why it's easy for the CEO to ask me to come here and talk to you and be candid about what we're doing. And by so uh, by, by doing that, we are making sure that we're not converting the media to the mouthpiece for ESCC, but we're allowing the media to report accurately about what is being done. And if we are not doing something or we're not doing it well, we are happy to receive the constructive criticism. So in a nutshell, uh, that is what ESCC has endeavored and is striving to do. We shall be with uh, 
IABC and other stakeholders on this journey and hope we deliver a peaceful uh, election. Thank you very much.